Today's video is about a region that barely gets any mention on YouTube, yet it produces some of the very best wine values anywhere in the world. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm Bob Polinsky, Master of Wine. I've spent the better part of the last 40 years traveling the wine world. Now in this video, I'll discuss a region you should definitely know. It has a true sense of place, wines like none other in the world. And at the end of the video, I'll do a tasting and a discussion of a benchmark example. Is there a wine region that you feel brings excellent value, but for some reason is largely unknown? I'd appreciate hearing from you. Post the comments down below. I try to follow up on each and every one. For this video, I'll be looking at a region that's starting to get a bit more attention, but not for the specific wine that I'll be focusing on. The place is Puglia, which is in the far south of Italy, sometimes called the heel of the boot. It's a narrow peninsula that juts out into the Mediterranean Sea yet it's still one of the driest and warmest regions in Italy. There are a few DOCGs there and several DOCs, but most are obscure once you get outside of the local area. There are also two that see a good amount of export. I'll be focusing on one of them that I've been a fan of for more than 30 years. That's Salice Salentino, which is located between the towns of Brindisi and Lecce. Salice Salentino's had its own DOC since 1976, and since that time there's been a considerable amount of change in the region, but the focus has remained heavily on red wine. There's about 1 million cases that are produced each year. Now within the region of Puglia, Salice Salentino was one of the places that really first put it on, a, on more of a world map, even though I don't believe it's getting nearly the attention that it deserves. The primary grape variety used is Negro Amoro, which means black bitter. The bitter part is more in reference to eating the fresh fruit off the vine versus the wine itself. The grapes have a blue-black color and thick skins. It's rarely grown outside of Puglia. For me, Negro Amoro is the best red grape variety grown in southern Italy. It forms that base for the Salice Salentino, but sometimes the wine will also have a bit of Melvisia Nero. This is a grape variety that can bring a little more acidity and freshness and brightness into the wines. The one I'll be opening in just a minute is a Reserva. And what that indicates is the fruit has been allowed to ripen longer on the vine. It'll provide the wine with more weight, structure, a, a bit more body as well. Also, the wine has been aged in oak for a period of time. With Salice Salentino, whether it's the basic Salice or it's the Reserva, the wines are fully mature and ready to be drank when they're released into the market, but the reservas oftentimes can age six to seven years from the vintage with no problem. For this trip, it was a fast train to a slow place of seemingly endless olive trees, mixed agriculture, and vineyards. The southern regions of many European countries, France, Spain, Portugal, Italy, all of them offer worthwhile wines that deserve much more attention. In the description below, I'll provide a list of Salice Salentino producers that have good international distribution. This will provide some guidance when you're out shopping for the wines. Now let's get to the tasting. The wine that I've opened is a 2018 Marchese di Borgosole Salice Salentino Reserva. Keep in mind this wine is coming from a warm growing region and with it, it has a very distinctive color. With wines that are sourced from warmer growing regions, oftentimes with the reds, there will be a considerable amount of fade as you move out to the rim of the glass. This will hold true even with wines that are relatively youthful. In terms of the aromatics, I mean, what's not to love with this wine? There's a dark cherry characteristic to it, but it also has a mocha, an espresso character as well. And there's a spiciness that reminds me of some of the wines you'll find in the Southern Rhone in France. On the palate, the wine is just beautiful. There's good weight to it. It's very round style wine. There's no edge, there's no sharpness, no coarseness to it whatsoever. Good presence on the front, mid and back palate. All of those aromatic descriptors that I mentioned follow through to the palate as well. Keep in mind this wine has been aged in oak. Don't know the full story on this, but my guess is this is older oak. So there's no overt change in the way the aromatics or the flavor profile is impacted. This is more uh, oak influence to soften the wine to make it round and much more accessible. Beautiful wine from start to finish. Absolutely love this. 
Why is this wine not better known? Ceviche Salentino is very versatile at the dinner table. The night that I shot this video, I had it with some roasted chicken, pasta with artichoke and green olive. Worked out great. I hope this video grabbed your interest and you go out and you'll find yourself some Ceviche Salentino. Thanks for sticking around on what I feel like has been a really bad hair day. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Hit that notification bell. You'll know when anything new is happening with this channel. Hit that like button as well. All these things are very much appreciated. Thanks again. I'll see you somewhere out in the wine world before too long. Cheers.